Well, hey guys, welcome back, my friends, once again to Whiskey 3 Charlie Tango, W3CT. My name is Jack, and we're out here today in the garage. Now, it's a nice day outside, but it's a little too cold to go out and ride motorcycles today, so I thought, what's the next best thing? Let's go ahead and start building an antenna. Today, we're going to go ahead and we're going to build a half-wave vertical antenna. All right, let's get underway. All right, guys, so as I said, we're going to be building a halfway vertical antenna. Now, you know I just purchased the DX Commander 36-foot, 7-inch telescoping mast. And uh, the reason I was doing the, 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 the taller one is because my thought process was, is I want to build a halfway vertical antenna for 20 meters. Now, in doing so, I know just from the measurements and from reading some books and from my buddy Walt and watching his videos, you know what the measurements is, and um, I don't have the formula, but I'll put it right here in the video uh, so you can figure out how you want to build this antenna. But I'm going to go with 35 feet. A quarter wave is 17 and a half. So I figure if I double that, give me 35 feet. It's kind of where my brain is residing today. Anyway, so this is how it's going to work out for us, and we're going to, I'll, I'll record as much of this as possible. So... I have my handy dandy tape measure. This is a 100 footer, so I need that. I also picked up a four to one unun, a four to one unun. I'll be using that on this build. Hopefully it works. I'm not real sure yet. I'm still learning about ununs and balance and when to use what. It seems like balance are only if you have two balanced lines coming together, uh, like if you're making a dipole or something of that nature. I do have a nine to one anun, and I use that for my long wire I created. Um, and I use a nine to one, it's a 40 meter uh, random wire. So I figure from cutting it, it's gonna be fed at the end. So I don't, not sure what the impedance will be, but what's really nice today is we're gonna have a look at, uh, I also picked up the Nano VNA, okay? So I have a Nano VNA. So I'm not gonna bore you with the calibration. There's a lot of great videos on how to calibrate that thing. But what I will show you is when we hook the coax cable into this thing, we'll see what kind of readings we get, okay? So first of all, I'm going to take this camera, and I'm going to try to put it somewhere. I'm probably not even going to bore you with cutting the wire. All I'm going to do is pull the wire out. I'm going to measure 35 feet. I'm going to make four, uh, four vertical, I mean, four horizontal ground planes, okay? Those are going to be one quarter, uh, one quarter length, okay? So we have a half wave going up and we'll have one quarter on the ground. So this will be 17 and a half foot. I'm gonna put four of those out, four horizontal ground planes and one 35 foot vertical antenna. So we'll see how it works. Um, once we get all this set up and tested, then what we're gonna do is we're gonna run it through the uh, G90 and we'll sit here and see if we can work some contacts in the garage. So I got the heater on, it's kind of nice in here. It's about 49 outside. So a little chilly out there, but I wanna go out there long enough to get the antenna put together and I'll show you the construction part of that. I'll get it up. I'm going to tie it off on a post I have outside here, and we'll see what we get going here. So let's go ahead and get back to uh, building the antenna. So what I'm going to do first is, like I said, I'm going to start cutting my wire. I am using, I don't even know what gauge this is, 16-gauge uh, 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 speaker wire. And what I do is I split it down, okay? You've seen that on one of my other videos. I'm going to measure this out, split it down, then that way I know I have the top radial, then I'll have two of the ground planes, right? Two of the, uh, the bottom legs. And then I'll just have to cut another one uh, to 17 and a half foot and split that one. Then I'll have my four total ground legs. All right, let me go ahead and start getting cutting on this wire. All right, now as I said, once I get the speaker wire cut to length, this is my 35 foot length, which is, seems pretty long. All I did was I split it, use a pair of snippers, and I just separate the two wires. I'm going to use the black wire for the bottom, for the, the, the ground planes, okay, for the horizontal legs. And I'm using just the other side here, just as the antenna. So you could use either one, doesn't really matter, okay? All right, so I got to strip this down. It's going to take me a little bit of time here. I also have my two uh, 14 and a half foot uh, creep. I have two created. 
so all right i'm not going to bore you with this but this is how you do it just keep stripping your speaker wire down you only need one side all right now what i did i started i put the two ends together on the other side of the 35 foot so i'm going to make two now so these are going to be 17 and a half and all i'm doing is just following it up here just keeping them close together this way i don't have to remeasure all right i'm going to snip these right here all right this gives me my two uh horizontal uh two ground radials and i'm going to make two more off the other piece i cut okay now i'm going to do these are the ground radials okay so what i'm going to do now is strip these down twist them up and put some tape on there and i'm going to use one lead from the ground radials to go onto the ground side of the onion okay that way i don't have to try to get all these wires around there i could just get one wire so i'm going to do that put these together and i'll show you the final product once i uh, get it figured out here and get it wired okay so you can see now we got all the wires twisted together okay right there i got this piece stuck out to go in the onion hopefully i left myself enough room there i think i did if not i can always pull this back some but i think i have enough room to get in through the terminal and actually get it around there and tighten it up. So I'm gonna throw some tape on here just to uh, clean it up a little bit. But yeah, all four wires are right there now, okay? Those are the actual um, radials, okay, for, for, that lay on the ground. Okay, all I'm gonna do now is strip the, uh, the main line, take the mast outside, and I'll show you once I get it taped up how it's gonna be sitting on the mast. Okay, so right now I do have it on the pole. Okay, I just use black electrical tape to tape it every so often so we'll see here we're gonna put it up in the air and see what we get again this is very much an experiment so I don't even know if it's gonna work or not okay all right let me go ahead and put this thing up in the air and we'll try to tie it with some paracord there and see if it'll stay up there all right I definitely got it hooked on here pretty nice it's a pretty windy day Go all the way up get you all the sunlight there all the way up to the top right there a little loop on that top there. i don't know if that's going to hurt me or not but we're going to see what happens again it's very much just an experiment remember that so so don't beat me up in the comments say hey jack you don't know what you're doing because you're right so this is just a trial okay all right let's see what happens all right as i said i got four ground radios coming off this thing going out in four different directions here okay Next thing to do, I'm gonna hook the coax up, get back in the garage, and hook the an, uh, the nano uh, VNA up, and uh, have a look at what the SWR might be. Uh, hopefully, this pole is not hurting me, but we're gonna find out. Cause like I said, this is definitely an experiment. Okay, guys. Well, let me be perfectly honest with you here. Very transparent is once I figured out how to set the frequency range of what I'm doing. Um, it was kind of blowing me away. So I had to watch a couple of YouTube videos because I haven't used this device except one time before. So I got to practice to get better at it. But right now I'm showing a 1.9 to a 2.0 SWR. Okay, you can see the line here right in the middle. So if we go over, I think uh, if it's under marker. Yeah, let's look at the minimum. The minimum it's flashing at 1.9 if you can see it. We'll go maximum. You see it's flashing 2.0 so absolutely the um zygu g90 is going to be able to match this antenna okay so we got that much done it took me a little while to get this done here but with the power of editing you didn't know that anyway but as i said i'm a very transparent uh experimenter okay so next thing i'm gonna do now is i'm going to go ahead and set up the, the zygu uh, g90 and uh, find a better chair because this chair i'm sitting is like two feet too low below this table you can't see that but trust me so I'm going to go ahead and set the G90 up, see if we can't make some contacts on this antenna. Once again, this is a, a full half wave, 20 meter antenna. Let's see if it'll do any difference here on any of the other bands. Let me see here. Uh, go to stimulus. We're going to start. Let's say if we wanted to go down to uh, 15 meter band. So that would be what, 21? 21 megahertz. And the end, the stop. Oops, go back. That's my start, 21 megahertz. Let's go back to stop. 
I like to go to 21.1. I don't go much over the CW bands anyway, so megahertz. And you see that we're still at two. So it'll work on, this is working on uh, the, the 15 and the 20 meter bands, okay? All right, so I'm gonna get off of here and set the radio up. Okay guys, well, I made one contact with WI0S. Um, so don't know the exact location of that park. Uh, but I am still using the uh, the phone app here trying to find people uh, He was on 20 meters and I can tell you I don't know if it's the bands uh, Today just what's going on with the bands, but I've been really searching around here trying to find people and not hearing a whole lot It goes 58 9 36 Yeah, I'm not finding a whole lot of contacts There's definitely a contest going on right now. Very nice. W8XAL. All right, guys, so that's going to be a wrap for today. That was the uh, test of the uh, half wave vertical antenna on 20 meters. You've seen the SWRs 2.0. Man, the, Z the Zygu G90 tuned it right down to, uh, to a flat SWR. So we knew that would happen, right? It's a great tuner in that radio, and it just works awesome. Not hearing a lot. I don't know if that's the antenna or if that's just me. I've been kind of going between. 20 meters and 15 meters trying to find some uh, stations to work but uh, I'm going to keep playing around a little bit see if I get any more calls out just for a little bit then I'm going to tear everything down so hopefully you enjoyed this experimentation here like I said don't beat me up in the comments guys I'm new to building antennas uh, it was fun just to put it up there it was nice to use the uh, the nano I keep saying it wrong the uh, nano uh, VNA it, it was great to be able to use that again uh, you know yeah, I had to watch a couple of YouTube videos because you're not going to use it. I, I just got to get more experience with it and play around with that thing. So, all right, but thanks for watching, uh, guys. I appreciate it. And girls out there, uh, you know, it seems like funny with uh, ham radio, there's a lot more guys involved in our hobby than there is females. Uh, so it'd be nice to get some more females, but definitely to get the younger people involved. I can't wait until my grandson starts getting interested and I can maybe get him uh, to get a license. So that'd be great. All right, well, best to everybody out there. Remember, uh, if you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up. If you, uh, you know, please subscribe to the channel. I would appreciate that. Uh, like I said, I'm making these for historical reasons, and today was a really fun experiment just to cut the wire. Now I got to buy more speaker wire because I'm out. I started with 200 foot, man. I went through that pretty quick. So, oh, no, sorry. It's 100 foot, so I split it. It was 200 foot split, I guess. So I have to buy another roll of that. All right, but thank you so much for watching this video. Until next time, uh, I'll say 73s to you, and uh, maybe we'll catch you on a frequency somewhere. I hope so. Take care, everybody. Uh, I'm also planning, well, I don't know when this video is going to come out. Maybe I've seen you at um, the uh, Ham Fest in, um, in Ohio, so I'm planning on being there. All right, everybody, take care. Uh, it's nice seeing you again, and uh, I'll talk to you next time. 73s. Whiskey 3, Charlie Tango, W3CT, Jack will be down and out, and... Back on the radio. I'll see you later, guys. Take care.